recording started, so I'm good. Where are you? Can I give you some room? Yeah. Oh my god. Part one is trivialism. Every proposition is true. One is the explosive flower to be right. One, L is true. Two is not the case. L is true. Different trivialism. Two is not true. L for any any dumb thing. Four is not right. To prove that to any prove any proposition, there is reason to think that premise is true. Nothing is valid. Any true premise alien premise is both true and false. And liar sentences are not mere semantic fits, but rather metalinguistic paradoxes. Reject all deepness. Zuni. Oh, three. Three instead of one. One is false. Two. One is false. Different. Only if one is true. Three. Let S stand for fairy tradition of one plus two is one and three. Three is also three. Is S implies four. Three is true. It's only if if one is true. Three is also three. Is S not only true? Not true. 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 Not
did a conference for Prince Bear Law, talking about the number of 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 the
can you guard, like, okay, underneath the rule of develop, the one AC has proposed, what do these cards get sure. you, and how do we negate yeah, them? Yeah, the Doxeter evidence says that affirmation of any trivial, uh, like, tri like, trivial judgment, I guess, so our judgment was that we should reduce American I and military science and right? Uh, like, affirmation of just that is something that has consequences that spills over to obtain liberation and affect morality generally. Okay. Which means the Enlightenment offense is just something that's a consequence of my like affirmation of okay. the doctrine of American. Um, the under so it's all offense that I think um, okay. okay. The underview, uh, no neg, like it's statements like negating is harder. Does this apply to Shaw or is it just a unidirectional argument? Mm -hmm. Like Blanket statements that negating is harder would also mean blanket statements that affirming is harder. If I concede that there are no blanket statements, does that also take out Shaw? Yeah, I mean, sure. Okay, sure, that's fine. Um, paradigm issues, uh, why, oh, what are the justifications for Shaw for the reader on the one or two? There are two reader on the one or two, which is not like the one or two. Like, if I have to go for the shell, making the drop the argument, you have to win the case and the shell, which is impossible to do because you don't need the case. Okay, uh, that's fine. Um, five minutes. Oh, it's right now. Two K straight down.
Twitter, it's Crosshex proves that this is a bi-directional war, which means we'll apply to Shaw, but regardless, if, if affirming is harder, then you should have against, hands against him, because that forces Tarim to change in the speech times and to make affirming a uh, reforming war. Now, new apps are good, we'll enter here, or the new apps are bad, from our human innovation, uh, they, our, our interpretation, it's just that you have to sort of just go to the app beforehand, you can still write new apps, which checks innovation, strategic thinking, is a non-starter, because strategic thinking relies on both sides, 30 minutes is an equitable amount of time for both teams to get strategic thinking, otherwise it is only one way, get good is an awful argument, we equally apply to the one AC shell, but if an argument is bad, then we can't get it back without proper the time to prep, because you literally read the one AC and we don't get enough time to read through it, and the number no also applies to the one AC shell, but our argument is something that you have to open source the affirmative to us before round, and or before round, or round, or round, or round violations, or good data checking uh, abuse before the round, otherwise mm, the debaters will literally lie about affirmatives, which means that engagement in the debate is possible, you should think about what the norm does in the first place. Now we'll answer the one AC shell here, mm, the one AC shell here, first counter to the will defend the violation one, it's accessibility, the witty literally auto fails in the judge's names, uh, judge, judge's names of, to be last in the first place, which means that it not only saves time, but it saves accessibility, because it makes it easier for debaters in the first place. That outweighs its key engagement in the first place, the uh, engagement in the first place. And secondly, checking counter assaults all of their offense, assaults all of their offense, you can literally just go to tower or check your opponent's records and see whether judges' first and last names are third, is, is, uh, third is essentially functional limits, there are only a certain amount of judges with a single last name which checks all of their offense, because it's not, quote, ambiguous, there are judges on the circuit who everyone knows, which means that it's not just the intrinsic, no, which, means, uh, which means that it's key to, uh, assaults are all of their arguments, and the assaults are all their arguments in the first place. Honesty is not an argument, because last names are not being dishonest, they're just rather being more simple in the, uh, in the first place. Secondly, it's a silly shell, you should reject shells uh, that, that rely on things that do not fight the round specifically, you should evaluate all abuse directly on in-round abuse, because anything else moves to substance education, which outweighs in the first place, they've not but justified, well, specifically not just missing judgment, it's bad, or for a bunch of debate, but use reasonability on things that do not fight in-round, but new outside of these arguments, because, mm, because uh, directly we did not have enough preparation to answer these arguments, they don't read anything else or get any more, and so it means it doesn't matter. Now, what was the justification for playing focus? Uh, the topic necessitation focus, we wrote a card for it. Uh, why does that matter? Textuality, we made an argument for why that outweighs, specifically in the context of the resolution. It's the only thing that determines things like pre round prep. Um, anything else is just like affirmatives making obscure arguments for why the app you know, could be harder, or etc. But textuality is the only thing that binds everyone together. Okay, cool. Who says we care about the topic? Um, we've made arguments for why absent caring about the topic, that, makes, that means engagement is impossible. On both ends, negatives are bound to awful arguments. Um, we don't get to the intricacies of the topic, it avoids clash, we justify why those things are good. Um, only voting, only like theoretical reasons about that was the first shell and the second shell, was there any other reason other than the IPI? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, what was the one for the IPI? What IPI? The racism thing. Or wait, was that not implicated in the Oh yeah, no, it was not implicated. Okay, yes. Uh, let's talk about the shell. Why does fairness matter? Um, yeah, like we've justified on the case page, fair, equitable engagement is something that everyone relies on, absent having that. that it, we justify fairness essentially as an internal link to clash. Um, absent having fairness, there's no such thing as you know debaters engaging in or clash between each other because it's always one-sided. Um, the app has made arguments for why affirming is harder. Why is it to be one sided? Well, because, for example, I, I think that you can't take out of claims that the one AC has made. You've read Shaw, which has an implication that you should err app because affirming is harder. That is quite literally a reason why fairness is good. Okay. I don't think the like, one AC also said we don't take a stance on the other way. Yeah, but you can't make two contradictory stances. We've conceded Shaw from the one AC and made a justification for why, you know, we should reject blanket like, statements, but we've conceded the theoretical implication. Okay, where does Shaw justify fairness? Well, Shaw says affirming is harder. It says that the negative has won more than 52% of the time. I don't understand what like yeah, other like, implications what, Where does the app just not when that matters? It seems like it was read as a preemptive reason. Like if you win, that fairness matters. Something that goes really Well, you've also justified things like apps get one error through because it checks infinite And then negatives. immediately after I said, we well, don't take a stance on the other things. Yeah, but what's the implication of infinite abuse? I think we can debate about this in future see. speeches, but like okay. you've made an argument for why dump in the six minutes is hard for the affirmative because of brute force. The implication of brute force is very clearly fairness. Otherwise, it is hard for the two error. Like you said in process, to win both substance and theory. If that is not a fairness argument, I don't know what it is. Right. Five, five, five.
Uh, are you doing part one, part two, part three? Or? Part two, part one. So, so the K stuff. K the This is not all for your tricks. I've done auto firms that do the critical endorsement of with Buddhist independence. You code out for mental peace liberation. I can have all affirmations and negations and contradictions that you are just no formal forward meditation on elements. I don't need to win you testing all that is good underneath the world of our study. Right here, go to the case. If you want to see and the end of my speech was a meditation, disruption of binaries and ethics. Anyway, you can see that it frees us from the pathology we're all by accepting the immutability that the inherent world overall everything which has two impacts. One is dualism, separation of good from evil, and fairness from unfairness. Violently separate people on individual terms which causes war, leadism, and push people outside of the which outweighs since it's part of Christian debate, which is the only impact you have had in this time frame. This is moment it's a combination of Evil goes past my nearest source. Peaceful change, but I'm trying to believe it's just an anxiety. This sense of evidence that other people are fearful. I think something causes this which I can't tell what I did about. That's all the doctors have conceded. No one seems to be that. General Hatton's for neutral. Implications for neutral. Answer it. Table's bad. Didn't have a solution for why can't but something's good. You should never roll about here. Primary make the whole of the direction value. Then some delusion that ways and jurisdiction clinical things you can evaluate the process. Delusion logic the difference must be hijacked by interdependence. Most of this most of the classroom private education and education ensures me love which is strong, which internally turns all the political stuff. Which means impact turns all the political stuff because even that is political. If our model is pretty good, their model is sort of also an is odd. Gathers, even if it's something that the topic that exists, it's not something that is necessarily something that's good, but we end up in the wire all something that's good. No, we don't say racism is good. One, no, triple is racism is bad. Two, check this turn, but three, makes it 19 is completely conceded. The act and ends of delusion behind racism in the first place by limiting the basis of all forms of racial and personal life and personal ethical exclusion is rude. We get wide ignorance and liberation. It's sort of a mystery. There is no effect in knowledge. Can't have to be such a taste of the same So we didn't affect it. And for it's not because they didn't provide an alternate understanding of how to pair with pyramid and pyramid and pyramid and pyramid. Because literally every single pyramid and pyramid. Oh, we reached out and our pyramid just sort of impact up to the same letters in the round. Even if every sort of right way might be something that's able to be read. Or you shouldn't get out of revelation, but he makes it to the jury. 
dog here, and actually keep it in the middle of the dog. I'll have this time which is unfollow and you make to intervene, but she's on her hands, which is the biggest impact that she does. Starting on the case, or where are you going? Um, okay, the plan is kind of like I'll try to start in the order with like the one yard. What's the first argument you're going okay. to cover? Um, well, like two here are the only arguments, two are the only Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, it'll be like like the overview stuff okay. in the lawyer's name, and then I guess like more live by Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll like side post. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just say that they can't solve innovation. 
innovation is there no incentive that it's definitely not a true argument you should think about it this way there's a distinction between innovation of the hours and hours before the tournament like weeks before the tournament eg if you break up an app at the start of jam versus if you break it off now because twitter's still only get 30 minutes before the round versus getting months and months to prepare in the future first place which means that there's still an equitable division of ground and there's still an incentive to innovate in the first place this is an argument made by the one in team for why you can still innovate you can still write every single partner that you want to write in the first place you just need to dispose of 30 minutes before the round but secondly is our model causes better innovation the one you're doing new way so we should be able to do new way here our model encourages the negative to update the best arguments in the context of the affirmative this was a one in team argument for why i'm discussing our forward clash and nuance argumentation is a good idea if they break new it'd be better for me to innovate things like how helium or speed and or innovate things like two framework blocks etc etc with the affirmative and jumping but not breaking new it just makes debating the worst version of generics over and over again which uh, destroys clash and destroys the entire purpose of debate which they have just met and the one you see again that is an incoherent argument and would equally apply to any of the one you see arguments but regardless of regardless of the law and our arguments uh, there's no implication to this argument in the first place it's just a reason for why you need to disclose the affirmative 30 minutes before the round if we really wanted to sort of quote get good then the debate would be ruined and the model of the activity would literally be permanently dead in the first place a drop argument for the one in team because it would justify debaters doing things like disclosing the wrong affirmative before round lying about affirmatives lying about disclosure practices etc which which uh, outweighs now the last argument we have to answer is out of round the violation's bad but they continue for the one in team that models of debate matters more and it is a question of what their model justifies versus what our model justifies if the screenshot was really doctored you would have to prove it on your end it is your obligation to uh, proactively prove it and justify it secondly consider that forwarding the email chain solves i can do this directly after the one in team if you really wanted to but it's a conceded argument you should think it to be true in the first place but real evidence outweighs in the context of disclosure wrongs because anything else destroys the activity of debate which we did the above and above the no bright line for how much testing is enough there is a distinct bright line in the one in team when we win a convenient interpretation just means that the sole bright line is that you have to disclose the affirmative before the round and it's not fabricated proof they need to disclose a counter in terms of a sort of a screenshot that proves that they did not that they did, that they did disclose the affirmative which they have not done and the tutor would be way too late to do it now now the case we cover the case we cover the only argument that they, we have to win uh, actually go back to go to the first shell actually because they made some of these arguments uh, they, some of the theory of firms arguments went to them here they continue from the one in team that independently negation theory in the gaze they don't the answer means it proves that any reason why we prove some part of the affirmative is but good is bad e.g. breaking uh, breaking new is a, a bad thing is a proactive reason to negate because it's the only constitutive role of the negative and secondly weigh the case it's completely illogical versus things like procedurals we win that you, your model of debate is bad that takes out all of the substantive arguments in the first place because they've not justified why specific, specifically trivial some applies to theoretical norms because they've not proven the theoretical norms that they have met in the first place which the jury would also be a too late to do in the first place but these arguments are under warranty do not have an implication of the winner which means you strike them off your floor now go to the mm, trivialism page proper of uh, trivialism page of proper, proper we're mm, going to go for mm, they're going to go for the sort of rejects by his argument on face trivialism they have just sort of uh, just extended oblivion on it to the one year for why their model debate is good but you should reject arguments that are auto-affirmed because it incentivizes them to blow that a hundred that thousand theory arguments so that the NC concedes one of them which kills topic education which always because we only have two months to be able to talk about the theory norms uh, we only have two months to be able to talk about sort of norms in the regards to trivialism uh, norms in regards to trivialism can be read on every single topic and can be read over and over again and they, they do not have norming arguments in the one year they've just made arguments why trivialism is a good idea but they've dropped them they've dropped the answers where those fights are a bad model debate and just it turns them into a cognitive game of mind to me which uh, causes substance problem and is bad for, for debaters with disabilities in the first place now the only answers we have to answer uh, is trivialism properly they've conceded from the one year that if all statements are true then the opposite of them must be true in the first place which means that if trivialism is true that means the opposite of the trivialism must also be false false which means that it just literally triggers presumption that triggers presumption and permissibility which they have conceded negates and they have conceded negates and because of textuality textuality is the only basis for how you determine whether or not presumption or permissibility negates because it's the only thing that bound that is bound to the wording of the resolution drop from the one entity that yes bounding something to the wording of the resolution is something that is good the one has tried to impact on it but no it is good for predictability which causes substance application which we have justified above it's the only thing that debaters coming to the round with clear knowledge of what the wording of the topic is conceded textuality means that it means that all it means uh, to express a moral obligation so that's what that negates because it always means it's only critical thesis for crap no it's just true presumption so you just go negative because either we win the shell which is dropping beta or yeah cool i have one third email so i have
going to be Case Michelle. I hate these Celtic Case. Uh, it'll start on the second page and then the like bottom or on the under. Right? You're just going straight down. Sure, straight down. That's fine. Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The two hundred went for a bunch of rugby, but they all had sort of impacts under fairness or education. But the two hundred and the one team that had zero to say for why the matters other than saying that the one error conceded it. So some say, but the one error had never said if you look into it, never said any justification for why topic education, why clash, why something that matters, but rather had an impact on to why in clashing and disagreeing with the athlete is something that's actually bad. Our argument since the beginning of the ones he said that disagreeing with the athlete that is not is not good for debate and it's something that we should not continue to do. They dropped that is the is our argument, which is that their, their presumption that debate requires us to disagree with it is something that we've said we've said is bad. Even if it's something that's constitutive to it, it's not something that should continue to exist. Which the Alpha said is this original change, but the case page they've conceded that you can vote after which goes, and that our affirmation of military presence in water or reduced military presence in water or whatever allows for us to sort of acknowledge that all affirmations against the contradictions are true. It's a scope of court that additional independence. They've said that this means that the negative would also be true, that there are obviously some things that negate this, but our argument that even if everything is contradictory, that is precisely our argument that we said that the judge should endorse learning the role of the judge of destructing the delusion, which is conceded. They said that they said that quickly here, the drop of the rules of the delusion, which they conceded outweighs the jurisdiction with the questions you can but you have the ability to evaluate. That means it comes prior to the topicality or to the sort of the result. This means that you you don't, have the, you don't have the jurisdiction to evaluate claims that are external to a uh, sort of delusion, which only have us offense under, which all ten, all, which all ten right here, they've conceded that anything else uh, is not specific to the classroom, which means that uh, they don't have to impact to it because obviously the disruptive delusion has no, no internal to sort of the, the, the topic already made. They dropped that the app results and anxiety, that, which, which I have implicated, implicated in the one here as having theoretical offense that outweighs anything else. I said in the one here that they didn't have impact to so fairness or education, but I did have impact to why exclusion is something that's bad, which is the only thing with the actual terminal in the round that dropped that, um, they dropped that the anxiety doesn't outweigh fairness because, uh, because, 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 because because uh, exclusion precludes the ability to access things that benefits in the versus, but also terminalizes the endless racist exclusion of the of independent debate of debaters for the arguments that the practices that there's no cause, which causes infinite conflict over one norm of debate, that's good, which is the conceded from the entirety of the one that's seen. They or their presumption that, uh, or their, their sort of fear that they're going to lose the round, something that goes away if you voted for the affirmative, which is in the one that's the evidence, uh, the one that's the doctrine or evidence uh, of, in, in, in the advocacy, which says that uh, obviously you lose all sort of anxiety if you, if you know that everything that's, uh, everything that's ever happened will continue to happen. You have those here, which solves anxiety. The I to the sort of Cambridge case argument. One, this is new, and the two are uh, just publicly starting to flow. Two, is that the second is that the one error had specific answers to the one error conceded. It's most logical uh, because, because of the AF is obviously a decide the topicality. It's a counter interpretation of how the base of our justification of the AF and its concession is the reason why the AF is something that should be read in debate. What's something that is uh, good in every single in the entirety of the way that it, it was read, and, 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 and they've conceded that, uh, that it was that sort of ways independently. There's no reason why uh, the US matter take out the entirety of the AF in the first place because, because, uh, because they can obviously leverage, we're only leveraging a war in the AF, not sort of every sort of portion of it which is not justified just how they are not going to respond. Next, I'm going to go, next I'm going to go first that they did not, they considered every single reason why fairness is not an impact in and internally done an impact because we, and that we have to turn to on the case agenda. We also conceded that there are other excuses that are inevitable, like go to the back of the speed, and et cetera, which are all causes, and causes, and they can solve it. The final thing that I'm going to go for is the competition decision that was dropped, and they did the impact uh, work above, which proves that it causes exclusion because their appeal to fairness are things that cause inevitable disagreement over what norm of the debate is something that's good, which is something that we've critiqued as causing exclusion, which outweighs the only impact that you've had to drop. It just might have different impacts. Only we have an impact, which is going to be the goal of all the jobs. Thank you. Thank you.